during this instructional, we are going to be swapping the screen on a Lenovo IdeaPad 500. Part number for the monitor for this computer is November 156 Bravo Golf Echo dash Lima Bravo 1. There's not going to be any cats in this video for obvious reasons. So let's shut down the laptop completely. What you're going to need is a small micro drive Phillips head screwdriver and some type of flat head screwdriver or butter knife or you can use your fingers like I do for the very first part of this instructional. Once the laptop shut down completely, the first thing you need to notice is that the monitor casing is actually enclosed by this gray rubbery strip on the top. Using your flat tip or your fingers, you can pry it apart at the top actually very easily and you'll notice it pops off at the side. And what I'll do is I'll run my finger down the side, feeling for the pops, making sure you don't push too hard at the bottom. Run it back along the top, run it down the other side of the monitor, and it'll pop completely loose. Now before you try to get the hinges loose on the monitor, you want to take your finger and run it across the very bottom of the monitor, popping those last four clips out. Push the monitor back to its full extent, and then swivel that gray part forward and place it off to the side. Now you'll notice you got the monitor and the webcam up here. The screen is the only thing that's going to be replaced here and it's replaced by taking out this screw, this screw, this screw, and this screw. Four different screws that are all in the silver bracket of the monitor. They shouldn't be very deep, should come out very easy, however they're small. So try to keep your finger on them at the extent that it's coming out of the threads so that you don't accidentally drop it in your carpet or lose it some other place. Once you have all four screws out, you can flip the monitor down from the top and lay it ah, directly on the keyboard. Now I'm going to pick the laptop up and show you. There's a connector right here that's taped to the monitor. It should have a barcode on it and it should have a gold connector. What you'll need to do is pick this sticker up with the barcode on it. I'm going to use cat food bowls. Alright, peel this sticker up gently because you're going to want to use it on the new monitor to help secure this connector in place. Once you have the sticker up, pull it towards the black part of the gold cable and simply disconnect the old monitor. You can do with it what you want. Hopefully your area has a recycling program for stuff like that. Now your new monitor from Screen Country will come in a bubble wrap Ziploc bag and it comes with a screen protector on the front secured with masking tape. Make sure you take that screen protector off before you try to put it in the laptop. <clears throat> Flip the monitor around, lay it on the keyboard, and you'll notice that it's got a gold connector, just like the old one did. Simply plug in the gold connector from your laptop, being careful not to bend any of the prongs, and secure it back down with that tape. If you rip the tape, it's not incredibly important. You can tape it with some electrical tape and nine times out of ten you could probably just leave it unsecured as it is. But place the monitor back up in the brackets. There should be plastic pegs at the top to hold the monitor in place while you get your screws ready. Get your screws ready. Start with the top screws to secure it. Remember four screws total, and if you happen to be a do-it-yourselfer like me who sometimes loses parts, and this is your first time working on something, and you lose a screw, and you're left with three, I would recommend putting the top two in first, and leaving the bottom one out if you can't find a suitable replacement.
Once you have all four screws in, pay attention to the silver cable down here that connects the computer to the monitor, because sometimes it'll get loose. It needs to be pushed directly underneath the monitor in between the plastic brackets they have to hold it before you put the clip back on. Once you have the cable secured and all four screws in, start by placing the hinge clips down into the black part of the hinge on the laptop itself. Secure both sides. Sorry. Secure both sides. And push down. Start on either side of the laptop, working your way up, popping the clips back into place. You shouldn't have any trouble at all popping these clips back into place as they come apart easy and go together easy. Pop the clips in in the bottom, making sure there's no air gaps. And if you run into a if you run into trouble on the left or right side of the hinge where the gray cover won't completely fit, you can close the laptop and kind of press down firmly on the corners and they should snap into place perfectly. Once that's done, go ahead and power on your laptop and enjoy your new screen. Thank you for watching.